Hi guys, it's Fiona. Today I'm going to show you how I made a journal cover from my master board that we made last week. So I've got my master board and I'm going to cover it with some tissue paper, which is an old sewing pattern. And this is going to give it a nice vintage look, but also it holds everything in place on the cover and makes it more sturdy and adds a little bit of texture as well. So I'm just cutting down the tissue paper a bit larger than my cover. And I'm not worried about it being too neat at this stage because I will fold the edges over when I'm done. So I'm just using some normal PVA craft glue and I'm going to use an old paintbrush to completely cover it with the glue. And I'm making sure that I spread it evenly and I get all the edges so that it's completely covered. And then I just lay down my tissue paper, my old sewing pattern on the top. And I'm just um, gently pressing down with my fingers because if you press too hard, you might rip, rip, the, um, rip it. So just press down gently. And I wasn't too worried about any wrinkles because I like the added texture that it gives. And you can see that it just seals everything in place and it gives it a vintage look. And now I just trim down the edges a little bit smaller so that I can fold them over and glue them to the inside. So I just fold it over and glue it down. I mitered my corners to make it easier to fold the corners down. So that's the outside done and you need to wait for that to dry and then I'm going to cover the inside with the tissue paper as well but of course you can cover it with any paper that you like and I'm just going to cut the ends off evenly I'm not going to fold them to the outside. So I'm just trimming off the excess around the edges and you need to wait for that to dry. Once it's dry, 
I'm folding it in half to find the center of my journal cover. And I just burnish that down. So now that I've found the center, I'm going to put in put a, a piece of um, this is a printable paper that I printed out. I'm going to put that down the center to create some pockets and I'm doing mine so that it's it comes to three inches either side of the center so my pockets are three inches wide so I'm just trimming that down to six inches And then I'm going to just glue the top and the bottom so that we have pockets. Once again, um, I need to wait for this to dry because what we're going to do now is sew all the way around the edges you don't have to sew you can just leave it glued but I like to sew all the way around the edges so that I know that everything's held in place and plus it adds a nice bit of decoration And here's my cover, all finished and sewn around the edges. And then inside you have the pockets and it's all ready to sew your signature in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.